Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Burrows. We are still in the other world, you know? Our, our favorite place to be. It's one of my favorite places to be. Uh, and we're with Mark, and he's wearing a tank top. I think that's really cute. I think it is. Um, I got twists as I realized that it's the uh, same one from my first nightmare, and I shake that image uh, away and nod. Oh, sorry. Give me... There we go. Well, it's better than nothing. Looks that way. His tone is flat. Did he, uh, did I push too far asking about the drawer? Was that too cruel of me? Once this is all over, I can ask him properly. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Ah. Uh, well, we'll go here real quick. Just, uh, what was that? What is here? Therapy transcript. What is this? Well, dude. Oh, I, I do I do not want to read all of this. That's not gonna happen. I'm sorry, folks. I I am in fact lazy. So we won't. Armed and ready as we'll ever be, we stop at the front door, and neither really wanting to see what's on the other side. Mark's eyes are wide, scanning the door up and down. His eyes twitch, trying to listen past the low hum coming from beyond the threshold. You've been here before, right? I don't want to say too much about that night. The last thing he needs to hear is what I witnessed is, is that I witnessed his death in this very room. Y yeah, there wasn't anything dangerous on this floor, at least. I see. His tone is still venomous. I can't blame him for being on edge. I think we should try to get to the lobby. Just walk out the front door and never look back. Sound good? <laughs> Too good to be true, maybe. Plus, there's no proof that it's safe outside of this building anyway. Uh, we have to think about this from Virgil's perspective. Uh, leave no stone unturned. Sheesh. I should have brought a lawyer. I know Virgil is a card shark, but uh, this feels more like chess, if anything. A few minutes of mental preparation later, yeah, preparation later, and we nod at each other. Here goes nothing. The door creaks open, and he blinks away uh, tears as the darkness of the nightmare unfolds before us. B fuck. Try to, like, uh, try to get used to it. It won't get any easier. I know. I'm sorry. I smile weakly and grab his hand, prepared to lead. Uh, come on, uh, let's cover the f this, floor f this floor first. Right. And we walk down the corridor in silence. Uh, veins pulse under the corroded uh, wallpaper surrounding us. It feels like the uh, building is alive. It's breathing. Uh, Mark's grip tightens. Everything okay? All of the other doors are strange. I didn't notice before, but he's right. The few doors in the hallway lack knobs or any hinges. D do you think the neighbors are seeing what we're seeing? Or are they... He doesn't have to finish. I think it's just us here. But uh, be ready for anything. He nods, uh, eyes lost in thought. I wonder if Virgil removed everything unnecessary to this what everything unnecessary to his game, including the other tenants. <laughs> and, uh, and if someone in the real world walked into this apartment right now, uh, would we be there asleep or did we disappear? Uh, Gray. Uh, my eyes are my my train of thought uh, gets interrupted as I realize I'm about to walk into something. Ah, uh, sorry. But. No, oh, excuse me. <laughs> what is it? That's right, the elevator door was covered by that strange fleshy stuff. Oh, looks like uh, nothing about this floor has changed from my first visit. And does that mean this game this game's been set up from the very beginning? Was it possible to solve without in without involving Mark at all? We'll have to take the stairs. I used them to get uh, get to the roof last time. Should we uh, bother looking there? No, I never want to see that again. He gulps, and with no further questions, we file into the stairwell. Oh, okay. It's pitch black, only small blinking lights next to the fire exit. Uh, exit signs uh, show the way to the next floor. 
Uh, Mark speaks in a hushed voice. Even the smallest sounds echo in this tiny space. Do we have to check every floor? Huh. Uh, that would probably be best, but I don't want to run out of energy before checking the lobby. Right. And I don't think we'd be able to sleep much in this place, in a place like this anyway. Hmm. Uh, how about this? Uh, let's make our priority, uh, wait, calling the elevator up. Uh, we'll check every floor until we find one without that stuff covering it. Uh, works for me. The thought of us running out of resources and never escaping uh, briefly flashes through my mind. Uh, stop. Yeah. Sorry, went to a dark place for a second. Uh, let's keep going. We creep down to the next floor, uh, the number 19, barely visible. The same veiny co uh, material covers the entrance to the next flight of stairs, preventing us from going any further. <laughs> Guess this is our first stop. I use my, uh, key... my knee? The key? Knee? My knee, right? Yeah. That's what that is. My knee. Uh, to gently nudge it open. Uh, the rust, <laughs> the uh, rusted over hinges groan loud loudly, and I uh, give up on trying to be stealthy. Close enough. His tone is flat again. Did I annoy him or something? Oh, whatever, this isn't the time. Uh, peeking out, I can't help but gasp at what I see. I thought we were trying to be quiet. No. Oh, this place is fun, too. Okay. Uh, this changes my plan of action entirely. The The size of the floor, the floors are different from each other. There's no way the penthouse is that much smaller than the standard floor, right? Not a chance. The rows of hallways and maze-like uh, trans uh, transforming what should be a, a comfortable place to live into a punishing trial. Where do we even start? Hmm. I don't know. Well, uh, they say to follow the left side of a maze if you want to find the exit. Uh, so I've heard. And do you have a better idea? Not really. I'm fine with whatever. Uh, what the hell is his problem? I get the... Yeah, I get that his the situation is uh, less than ideal, but uh, now the uh, now is not the time for a hissy fit. Fine then. I grab his wrist and pull him along. He groans, but reluctantly follows behind. Uh, taking my own advice, I trace along the wall until we get to the uh, leftmost side. Another dark hallway greets us, but something else catches my eye. Look! A locker? Okay. A closet. That looks like a locker, though. Whatever. And I point to a uh, severely rusted-over utility closet. Ah! Oh. This, uh, think it's worth checking? Probably not. Really? We shouldn't be uh, counting anything out. Uh, this isn't like him. Ignoring him, I pull on the latch. It takes some effort, but eventually the door gives and swings open to reveal more shelves. Ah, okay. Mark sighs in annoyance. I told you, it's all junk. Not necessarily. I, I strain to reach further back, and I, and I hear Mark gasp. Hey, uh, be careful. That's the most concerned he's been since we left our the apartment. Don't worry, I can feel something. I just can't quite... He visits around before uh, sighing to himself. A move, I can reach it. All right. I pull my sleeve back, now stained with a rainbow of browns and reds. We're going to need tetanus shots when this is over. He takes a breath and reaches toward the back. I can hear his claw scrape against the against something metal before finding his target. Uh, this is uh... a dirty ball of yarn. I knew it. Uh, he scowls at my excitement, and I clear my throat. Hear me out. Huh. This floor is built like a maze, so uh, we can use this uh, to avoid getting lost. I grab a, a pack of nail, yeah, a pack of nails off the uh, shelf and. <clears throat> at the shelf, and I'll walk back to the uh, beginning of the corridor. Uh, carefully unraveling the ball, I tie one end of it to the uh, nail and stomp it into the floor. Oh, I get it. It's not, it's a uh, no trail of breadcrumbs, but it'll do. <laughs> Tame ball of yarn and nail. 
Oh, okay, so this is just the thing we're doing. This is just the thing we're doing. Okay, okay. I love survival horror games a little bit. I, I kind of do. We have about uh, 350 feet of yarn and five, uh, 59 nails left. I suppose we'll have to use it to con conservatively, depending on the actual size of this place. If we if we run if we run out, we can always start uh, uh, marking the walls with something. I whip out my uh, Lilliputin Lilliputin knife and uh, mockingly scrape at the wall next to me. Yeah. He clutches his head and stumbles to his knees. Oh fuck! So sorry. Uh, it's fine. I guess that rules out plan B. But why was the floor fine? And not the walls? Huh. My uh, confidence sinks as I come to a realization. All I can assume is that this is the uh, intended solution to the puzzle. What? You mean that out uh, nothing outside of what he wants uh, to do is any acceptable strategy? Think about it. Every item so far has been strategically placed in a specific amount, uh, with an intended use. He doesn't want to risk us outsmarting him. Huh. He sounds more insecure by the second. Fine, then. We'll do things his way, for now. He, surprising, he surprises me by uh, leaning in to whisper, But I'm prepared to take a few hits if it means getting us out of here. R right. Onward, then. Following the left side, we walk along the uh, winding path before us. Hey, um... Are you thinking the same thing? We stop and uh, look at one of the doors on the other side of us. I don't think there's just a... I, I don't think these are just here for decoration. Maybe not, but these are... He hesitates, trying to formulate his thoughts. Where people's apartments... Would it really be all right to, uh, uh, were, not where, <laughs> were people's apartments? What am I doing? I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm, you, you know how it is, uh, <laughs> to enter them. This is an extraordinary situation. If there are people behind these doors, I don't think, I think they'd understand. Well, I wouldn't appreciate it. Where's his mind at right now? Our lives are on the line. What, should we knock? At the very least. I roll my eyes, but I'll humor him and knock at least once. Hello? Anyone home? Silence. I try the knob, but it's locked. No good. A locked front door? Isn't that unusual? I'll bet most of these don't open. Probably, but uh, we'll have to check each one. <sighs> Alright. What... That was always the fun part about running down hallways in Silent Hill. Checking, like, all the doors, and it being like, the door is, the, the knob is broken. Can't, uh, can't use it, right? And then it gets marked off on the map. It's cute. It's really good. I love that, like, fake uh, cover of Silent Hill 3. Where they, instead of it saying Silent Hill 3, it just says, shit gets rusty. Uh, everything, like, all doors are locked. <laughs> uh, I love that one. It's I, I always laugh at that. Okay. Uh, we'll try all of the doors in this section one by one. None open, and I sigh off. What? And I sign off uh, this leg of the maze by nailing another section of yarn into the carpet. One down. <laughs> I wish I had some kind of notepad or journal so I can try to draw draw us a map. <sighs> Come on, the cast members of Silent Hill would do that. Sometimes, you know, you had the the labyrinth underneath of the uh, historic society in Silent Hill 2. James just made his own map, you know, that's fun. Abstract thoughts has never been my specialty. I need visuals and construct. Um, Mark's uh, gone sour again, only replying with short one-word sentences. Checking every door, the uh, way would uh, the way would uh, be a lot less dull with good conversation, but he's just not responsive to it right now. Everyone reacts to stress in their own way. I've already seen his bad side yesterday, but this feels different. 
It's not the expected rage, but complete and utter apathy. Maybe it's his way of coping, uh, acting like nothing matters, so he uh, doesn't completely lose it. But still, we need to work together right now. Ignoring reality wouldn't, uh, won't work forever. After a few uh, repetitive twists and turns, uh, we're about halfway through our uh, yarn supply. I notice Mark's uh, starting to slow down, uh, holding his stomach and groaning in pain. Is everything alright? Yeah, besides the bad lighting, I'm doing grand. Mark. Sorry, I'm just getting kind of hungry. I don't even think about food when we were planning this excursion. Energy is just as important as a resource as protection. Now that you mention it, just grab a few health drinks. Is there no health drink in the first aid kit? It feels like we've been at this for at least two hours now, but would it be worth turning back now? Would that really be alright? I don't see why not. A man's gotta eat to survive. But we've made so much progress. He sighs. That won't matter if we conk out at a crucial moment. We have to keep sharp. I don't want to admit it, but he's right. That's true. Should uh, What should we do? Uh, go back to your place? Uh, I guess there's leftover pizza in the fridge. If it'll open. I sigh and track down one last section of yarn before we head back. Uh, Mark seems a little more chipper now. Is he just happy I did what he wanted? At least we know the way back. Wait. Huh. I can't explain why, but something feels off. The shadow peeking around the corner flickers in and out like a candle. Eh? We walk back slowly, uh, treating uh, each sharp turn with more caution than we did the first time. I don't like this. His tone is flat again, but I can't blame him. The air is dense, and the uh, lights duh, seem dimmer than before. Is this really the same path? Even my uh, whisper uh, seems too loud in the uh, dead quiet. It's then that Mark tugs on my shirt, uh, pointing a shaky finger at the ground. It's different now. What? I follow the direction of his finger and stare at the string I'd laid earlier. Wait, this is... That's impossible! None of the sections I'd uh, charted had run straight across with uh, no turns uh, for this long, yet I can see it stretches into the next few corridors without a break. Mark pushes past me and walks a few far yards ahead, stopping and shaking his head in disbelief. There's no fucking way! I'm certain this was the way back to the stairs! Oh, shit! What? I didn't consider this. Damn it. I guess Virgil didn't appreciate us taking our time. I knew going back was a bad idea. Mark grabs my shoulders and starts shaking me. What? What's going on? The maze can change shape. Oh, come on! That's not even... Possible? Look around you, Mark. No! <laughs> We'd feel the walls move around us. Would we? Do we even understand what these are made out of? No. Sorry, but I, I refuse to accept that. He walks away in a huff, heading back to where we came. How else could any of this be explained? Mark doesn't answer me. He picks up his pace, and I can barely keep up. Hey, don't! We have to stick together! Get away from me! I don't want to be here any more of any hear any more of your nonsense. Please, I'm I'm sorry, okay? Just stop. He stops dead in his tracks. Thank God. Mark, you. I look up out of uh, I look up out of breath and see him staring at something on the wall. Mark. Who, who put these here? I turn the uh, corner and see three unique doors, a portrait hanging on each one. His uh, eyes glued to them, not noticing me at all. Mark? He straightens his back, a bead of sweat uh, dripping down his forehead. Gray! <laughs> Forgive me! He takes a deep breath, uh, pushing um, sweaty strands of hair off his forehead with a shaky hand. Uh, this place really is trying to get to me, isn't it? What are these? Oh, do we get to see the doors? 
Oh. Okay. Okay, so this is... Uh, is a baby younger pictures of brother. Okay. The first portrait shows Mark as a child sitting next to another maned wolf on the couch. It's styled like a photo, a family photo. So this must be J Joshua. He flinches. <laughs> oh, okay. The next uh, shows uh, Mark as he uh. Uh, looks now, yelling at the uh, Joshua I saw in the photo. They're in his apartment, and even in, in a still image, I can tell emotions were high. This is when I look at Mark, and he starts, uh, and he finally relaxes his posture, his arms uh, dropping like he has sandbags tied to his wrists. Yeah, the fight. Before he died. Uh, nobody could, uh, oh, nobody could have taken this photo, uh, so it must be. Oh, he gently, uh, scratches a claw against it, and tiny flakes, uh, fall off, before, uh, gently floating to the ground. A painting. Same with the first one. He nods, uh, pushing his glasses back into place with a finger. We didn't take staged photos like that, uh, group growing up. I couldn't sit still long enough. He points to the larger figure in the uh, background. And they couldn't stand to be in the same room as each of uh, as each other. Uh, certainly not long enough for a photo. If anything, these are more like embellished memories. Uh, one of uh, uh, one of the benefits of paintings. He aff uh, affectation. Uh, wait, affectionately, affectionately rubs the wooden frame. I got there. We got there, guys. It's fine. What is... Duh. It's just something we joked about back in art school. The lovely thing about uh, painting is that, uh, to the average viewer, it lacks any proper context. So this frame... He gives it a playful knock. Is the only thing separating real a fantasy from reality. The painting can create the truth they desire within the space. Sometimes it's better that way. His eyes dart around to avoid looking at the final door. I move around uh, him to see what it could be. Oh. Oh, it's just the... Huh. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it's just a picture of a subway entrance covered in snow. It actually looks normal by comparison. Alright. I'll lend the part here, everyone, so I'll, um, I'll see you guys around. <laughs>